Today, we pause to mourn the six million Jewish children, women and men, systematically murdered by the Nazis and their collaborators, and we grieve the Roma and Sinti, the people with disabilities, and so many others who were persecuted and killed in the Holocaust. We honor their memory. We stand with the survivors, their families and descendants. We pledge never to forget, nor let others forget the truth of what happened. And we recognize the horrific resonance this day of commemoration finds in our own times. The anti-Semitic hate that fueled the Holocaust did not start with the Nazis, nor did it end with their defeat. Today, we are witnessing hate spreading at alarming speed. Online, it has moved from the margins to the mainstream. But today of all days, we must remember that demonization of the other and disdain for diversity is a danger to everyone. That no society is immune to intolerance and worse. And that bigotry against one group is bigotry against all. As the former chief rabbi of the United Kingdom, Jonathan Sachs, so memorably said, the hate that begins with Jews never ends with Jews. And so today, especially in the wake of the abhorrent 7 October terror attacks by Hamas, we must resolve to stand up against the forces of hate and division. We must condemn unequivocally whenever and wherever we encounter anti-Semitism, just as we must condemn all forms of racism, prejudice and religious bigotry, including anti-Muslim hatred and violence against minority Christian communities. Let us never be silent in the face of discrimination and never tolerant of intolerance. Let us speak out for human rights and the dignity of all. Let us never lose sight of each other's humanity and never let down our guard. To all who confront prejudice and persecution, let us clearly say you are not alone. The United Nations stands with you.